Grab yourself a cuppa and let's have a chat because I've come to the conclusion that learning CAD first for 3D printing is ultimately a dilemma. Let's have a chat. First, I need to mention this. I learned CAD first. In fact, I learned CAD about seven years ago and I'm coming back to this point here was saying that if I could go back those seven years, I would have told myself to go and learn Blender first. Now what's changed? Because this wasn't really the first thing that would come to my mind usually. What's changed is CAD Sketcher. Now, if you don't know what CAD Sketcher is, CAD Sketcher is an add-on for Blender. So it means that it's going to be free. And in fact, CAD Sketcher is free and open source. And it brings a CAD-like modeling workflow into the mesh environment, letting you basically create mesh using geometric and dimensional constraints like tangents and distances and so on. Now, this isn't a small change. This is huge. It fundamentally breaks the connection of mesh only being artistic. Because recently, there's always been this sort of two pillars. CAD is precision only. This is where you do mechanical engineering and all that lovely good stuff. Then we've got mesh or blender. This is very much the realm of art. This is where that lives. And of course, I've been here on Maker Tales living sort of in the middle there saying, hey, you can both do whatever you want to do. I really do think you can do quite a bit more than this one can say, and you can do quite a bit more than that one can say. And that's where I've been at. But now with CAD Sketcher, I don't understand why anybody would learn CAD first. Now, hear me out, because this, I've been really thinking through this. Now with the developments of add-ons that are coming for Blender, you pretty much have parametric precision-based modeling down to six decimal places of precision. Yes, it's not a CAD workflow, but do you really need a CAD workflow, especially for 3D printing at home your own things? And the, the key thing I keep coming back to is, why would you choose a program that ultimately limits your tool and your creativity? Now, what I mean by that is if you choose a CAD program and you only choose a CAD program, well, you're, that means you're literally, you're throwing out sculpting. You're, you're throwing out a whole bunch of the creative aspect of the 3D world. You're only wanting to do super precision based stuff. And yes, you can get quite organic if you want, but it's a little bit of a headache. Now, if we go the other side and say you start with Blender, well, that sort of opens up everything to you. Yes, it might be a little bit of a long learning curve, but it's not a hard one, it's just long. There's, there's just so much to do there. You've got rendering, animation, nodes, there's geometry nodes, that's full parametric design there. You've also got add-ons that do absolutely everything. Hell, I've created two add-ons in here. We've got the Bolt one that creates perfectly, perfect parametric, geometrically accurate bolts for 3D printing, as well as gears. And there's also CAD Transforms, which does CAD-like movement within Blender. And now with CAD Sketcher, you've got parametric design through sketches in Blender. Now, don't try and think that this is going to replace CAD in any way, because it isn't. But it's a workflow that is very similar to CAD, and it's free and open source. And there's no licensing limitations. And if you're wanting to learn for 3D printing, a brand new tool that you might have just got for Christmas or whatever, why would you choose something that you have to pay for if you ever wanted to sell a great idea that you come up with? That's where I am right this minute. I, and on top of that, all the lovely workflows inside of Blender and CAD Sketcher and all of that, well, they're very applicable into the CAD environment. So, even everything that you learn here, if you find that you do hit the limits, which there are, there definitely are limits. Bevels and chamfers is one. Well, they're not really limits. They're just, they're challenges because they're a little bit harder on here than they are in there. That's just the nature of the beast. 
polygonal modeling versus NURBS modeling. That's just the sort of change that you have to get used to. But apart from that, it opens up so much more. You might fall in love with this, and then you can go and take this on to do art, to do game development, to do anything you want. Now, you might fall in love with CAD Sketcher there, and you might realize, oh, I'm hitting the boundaries and I can't get past that. Well, all of that fundamental basics of the CAD workflow apply perfectly over into CAD modeling. So it's also a great sort of starter pack, free, that opens up all the doors for 3D printing. When you're in here, you're only really doing, quote, practical functional prints, but that's it. So here's the dilemma. I really do not understand why you wouldn't first dive into mesh modeling first, especially considering that most 3D printing applications, you're exporting out a 3MF or an STL, and that is going to be a mesh file anyway. So why not understand mesh, the program, the program, the file format that you're going to be giving a slicer anyway? And all of this sort of stems from the lovely course that Teaching Tech is doing. So Michael over at Teaching Tech is teaching people 3D print design only through CAD modeling and never mentioned anything about mesh. And I just feel like it's something that keeps, I keep hitting my head off it. And it's just annoying because the mesh world has so much more to offer to the makerspace, like in general, that we give it credit for. And I'm not saying that CAD modeling doesn't offer. There's CAD modeling, if you're wanting to go engineering, you're wanting to do simulations, you're wanting to do bevels and chamfers really easily, that's where you go. However, with Blender, you have sculpting, you have rendering, you have ArcViz, you have add-on development, you have anything you could really want till a very high level of engineering before you go, oh, you know what? I really should be doing this in a CAD program. And yes, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of you naysayers out there saying, well, if you're going to do that, just straight away start with CAD. Well, okay, I get that. But especially if you're starting for 3D printing, wouldn't you prefer to learn one program that can take you 80% of the way than having to learn a different program that shuts off a whole bunch of creative possibilities with a 3D printer, be it resin or be it FDM, then having access to a lot more. Anyway, that's something that I just wanted to put out there and get my chest, get off my chest. And I'd love to hear what you have to say down in the comments, over in the Discord. I really want to hear what you say. Now, yes, you could have seen this quite biasly because I've done so much of Blender here, but I truly have in the past always thought, yeah, there's a very good opinion to go and start over in the CAD workflow, or there's very a good opinion to go and just stick with mesh. But I would say the majority of us are only going to stick with one. And I'm sort of a bit of a freak in the 3D world, having gone through about seven different programs. And yeah, I did start in CAD, but I wish I could have started in Blender and then moved on to CAD because just where we are right this minute, it just seems like the logical start. Anyway, that's all I've got to say for now. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. A huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. And without you, I truly could not make Maker Tales. A big thank you to my VIP makers, Jem Oskanak and David Fernandez. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here, I'd love to see you there too. Don't forget that we have a Discord where I would love to carry on this conversation. And that's linked down in the description. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.